It's game week 16 part one and we've got some great fixtures coming up in today's video. Starting with Protect the President versus Team Rebirth, Ronaldo Rex Fan Club versus Skeps Goons, Quick Slashes versus Gentle Giants, Big Guns and Insects versus the Audi Melee team, Toasters versus the Gaming Garrison, and the Meta Slayers versus Tar Yosha's Pets. Let's go! First up in game week 16, we have Protect the President versus Team Rebirth. Protect the President sitting pretty in second place in the league right now with 13 wins out of 15 on 39 points. Team Rebirth battling to get in the top 10 with 9 wins out of 15 on 27 points. They need to keep in touch with the top 10. They're currently 3 points adrift of me, Reapers of Blood, Toasters and Tyosha's Pets. I'll be honest, this one's probably not going to help them out. But they are a strong team. There's still a very good chance they'll make it. A very solid chance they'll still make it, I would suggest. But it might not be a win for them here. We've got um, Protect the President on the left hand side and Team Rebirth on the right hand side here. Protect the President only lost what, two matches so far in this entire tournament. I can't think who they lost to other than Meta Slayers. Somebody else, I can't remember who. But everyone's lost to the Meta Slayers, so no massive surprise there. It looks now like there's a lot of people. Hang on, what's going on here? There appears to be. This appears to be a bit closer than I expected it to be. Um, Our Team Rebirth doing a number on. Our Team Rebirth. Oh my god! Team Rebirth have done a number on Protect the President. And John Cena is going to be ecstatic. Oh my god! Team Rebirth have shockingly won the first round here. I mean, I did not see this one coming, bearing in mind that Team Rebirth are currently 11th as we start game week 16. I was not expecting this. Protect the President! Is this going to be another surprise week? Meta Slayers, I can't remember who you've got. You're last up in this video, but I can't remember who you've got. But my god, Team Rebirth have taken a round off them. Protect the President only lost four rounds in total so far in 15 weeks. And one and two of those were against Meta Slayers. So, oh my god. Like, what's going to happen here? We'll see, we'll see. I still don't believe for in a million years they'll, they're going to win this one. I really don't. They're getting smashed this time, big time. Goro's gone down. Yeah, he's again destroyed this time on a massive scale. On a massive scale. Yep. Wow, that was more like it. 1-1. One, one. Let's be honest. Even, even round difference makes a difference right now. Silent Assassins were only two rounds behind Protect the President. So, by losing one here, it's going to close the gap still. So, Silent Assassins, you need these kind of results. Whatever happens here, this is still good news for you. We need the Rocky to do some good work here. I still don't believe in a million years Team Rebirth are going to blag another win. He's well, he's not taking his own Goro out just yet, at least. We need some... Oh, the shoot out here. The Commander Bow is taken out there. We need some very, very, very accurate shoot. We've still got quite a few units after Team Rebirth. They've gone for the long distance units. The Goro has won. That's dangerous. You don't want the Goro winning. And now it's all about what happens in the next couple of seconds. The, it's, it's 2v1. Do you know what, guys? Do you know what, guys? This could be... He's blown his own unit up. What an idiot. This could have cost him. But the Commander Bow is stuck. The Commander Bow is stuck here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, we have started week 16 with an almighty shock. An almighty shock. What can I say? Bill Bob is going to be shocked. John Cena is going to be ecstatic. Because this one has finished somehow. Protect the President 1. Team Rebirth 2. Oh my god. Next up, we have Ronaldo Rex Fan Club versus Skep Schoons. Ronaldo Rex Fan Club currently sitting in 13th spot on 24 points with 8 wins out of 15. Skep Schoons currently in 5th with uh, 12 wins out of 15 on 36 points. With a chance now to go level with uh, Protect the President on 39 points. So if they win this one, if they were to win this one 2 0, they could get within uh, two round difference of Protect the President. So suddenly Skeps Goons might have a chance of finishing higher than they uh, than they thought. We've got um, Ronaldo X Fan Club on the left hand side here, as you already know. Skeps Goons on the right hand side here. They're getting bossed though. There's no surprise, not, not in this first one anyway. Unless the Rocky can do some seriously good work. Nope. I think it's going to happen. It's Rocky and a projectile left. Too many long range units. Rocky's got too much to do. He needs to ping these boys off very quick. Oh, you need to get the elephant, dude. The elephant's got to go. He's still got an outside shot. No, he's not. But do you know what? Oh, there's a projectile still left. Do you know what? They couldn't shoot. If the, if the um, slow motion couldn't shoot quite so long range there. Maybe a little chance, but no. Skep Goons take round one. Round two, I'm sure Skep's going to be relieved. After seeing what happened in the previous matchup, I'm sure he'll be very relieved that he's got the round one in the bag because, let's be honest, that first matchup was one of the shocks of the entire tournament I'd say that really I didn't see that one happening at all and having I feel sorry for protect the president having beaten silent assassins last week to go second they've gone and messed up against someone who's sitting in 11th at the moment and uh, yeah they'll be fuming he'll be absolutely fuming with that result I'm sure the Rockies are what are you doing you've blown up your own people you could have had a chance again in man you're not doing that badly again you're really not doing that badly here have they won this round what on earth is going on tonight? I mean, Ronaldo Rex Fan Club aren't a bad team, but it's gone 1-1. Can we see the second upset in a row here? 
round number three. What is going on in these videos? What is going on tonight? Round 16 is the round of some very strange, strange matchups. Oh man, the Rocky's taken out at the very least one of his Allosaurus, if not both there. Is Rocky going to go into self-destruct mode? Oh, there's people flying everywhere here. Oh, the Goro's got free. This is not good. The Goro's got free. The Goro's down. Now it's long range versus long range. It all depends on how long the Rocky can survive, probably. And the Commando Bow. The Rocky's probably targeting the wrong units again. He needs to get some of these long range. If he can get rid of the, the Commando Bow here, he might have a chance still. He might have a chance. These guys might get caught on, on units. If that shotgun cannot fire from there. They've got stuck on units. Guys, what's going on? Who is he fired at? This guy is going to cock up for them. The arch is getting close. Dude, you've, you've got a chance here. Don't mess up. Oh my lord. He's cleared the path though. And if this shot... Oh my god, not another upset. Not another one. Surely not. Is he dead as well? Who's alive still? Unless the rocket does something stupid here. He's got this in the bag. Everyone's trapped. No. Oh my god. What is happening? The top teams are having a shocker in round 16. Well, now the Rex fan club have come from 1-0 down to take this one and win this one 2-1. So it finishes Ronaldo Rex fan club 2, Skepscoons 1. Two upsets in two matches. Metaslayers finishes video. You getting nervous, dude? We could see another upset, yeah. Third up, we have Quick Slashes versus Gentle Giants. Quick Slashes on 4 wins out of 15 on 12 points. Gentle Giants on 6 wins out of 15 on 18 points. Both these teams almost definitely going to probably finish in the bottom half by the look of it. Too much work for Gentle Giants to do, despite their good bit of form recently not been so good again in the last few weeks had a good run but it's kind of died off again now quick slashes on the left hand side and uh, gentle giants on the right hand side with the rings around their units looks like the hydra is going to work on the old allosaurus for some reason goro's gone in with him as well leaving the arch to get some free shots in what are you doing man he's chucked away a little ball again and not killed him has that not killed him? Oh man, you guys are going to get wrecked here by the look of it. There's a lot of units coming in on Gentle Giants too here. And again, Gentle Giants are higher in the league than these guys. Are we going to have another upset, technically? I mean, this isn't as much as an upset. But still, are we going to see another team lower in the league get beaten for the third consecutive third consecutive matchup? What is going on here? Seriously, this this whole video tonight is all over the show. None of these results are, are going as I would expect them to go. There's no way in hell he's going to beat this, guys. Not with, not with long range units and a gore hammer. A matter of time before he goes down. He's gone as well. Round one to quick slashes. My god. Round number two. I don't know what's going on tonight, guys. If quick slashes win this one, that'll be three in a row where the, the, the higher ranked team have lost the battle. And I know this game feels like it's leveled up a little bit with recent additions. I don't know whether they've made any changes to the game in the last week. I'm pretty sure there's been no little minor updates I'm aware of. I've not seen my my um, my game up there on Steam. But there's some shady shenanigans. It's a good word, isn't it? Shady shenanigans. Lovely, lovely combination of words. There are some shady shenanigans going on tonight. I don't know what is happening, honestly. Looks like Gentle Giants have come back strong here, though. My God! Really strong here. Like, this is a complete turnaround. I don't know what's going on tonight. I mean, the whole the whole video is proving unpredictable as hell at the moment. Meta Slayers, you might want to be a little bit cautious. You're going to ruin it at the end of Win Comfortably, I'm sure. This sort of dominated look. There were loads of units left. Just just the Hydra. Okay, this one, another one that's going to go to the going to, to go to the final round by the look of it then. I don't know what's going on tonight, guys, at all. I'm so confused. So confused. And this one's going to definitely go to Gentle Giants when they can finally finish this Hydra off. Come on, guys, finish him off. Oh, was an archer as well. Didn't see him. 1-1. One, one. We're going to another decider. No way to call this round three battle because both of the previous two battles, or previous two rounds, I should say, have been dominated by different teams. I don't know what's going on. Honestly, this feels like... I don't know. Sometimes I, sometimes I load this game up and it feels a lot more unpredictable than the night. This is a night where it feels very unpredictable. I don't know what is going on here. But it feels again like these two keep going around a team. Come on, you're the strongest two units. He's giving him a hug. Look, he's giving the old Goro a hug. You've knocked him over. Now they're moving in for the kill over here. Who have we got over here? Spino's down. We've still got a T Rex. This is surely currently. Oh, I don't know now. This is a 50 50 -er. They've gone after a dead unit. They killed him. Well, you've gone for a Bulldog Ant when you've got a Hydra coming at you. That's stupid. The two long range Gore Hammers could do some big damage here. Well, these guys still focusing on the same unit. I think this is dangerous, guys. You need to be focusing on the Gore Hammer. You're both focusing on the Hydra. This, these Gore Hammers are going to kill you off pretty quick here. I think that this is going to go the way of Quick Slashes, you know. Yep, because they're idiots and they've chased after the weak units first, like they do sometimes. And the Gore Hammers are coming in strong. This one's finished. And we've got another shock to an extent because, yet again, the lower ranked team has won. And this one finishes Quick Slashes 2, Gentle Giants 1. 
matchup number four and probably also the uh, smallest battle we're going to see 8v8 we've got big guns and insect versus Audi Gemelli team big guns and insect on three wins out of 15 on nine points and the Audi Gemelli team on one win out of 15 on three points now bearing in mind how this video has gone so far or how this game week's gone so far I should also say big guns and insects on the left hand side Audi Gemelli team on the right hand side here to see a fourth continuous or fourth consecutive update I should update upset I should say means Audi Gemelli team have got to get only their second win in the whole season now Surely this is too much, right? This is this is not going to happen. Surely this cannot happen. It might happen, you know. It might happen, guys. It's going to happen again. Surely not. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Oh, it's not going to happen this time. At least not in this one. Oh, Goro's the Gorham is still alive. Oh, mate. Lots of work for the Anika to do now. She's got to pull off an absolute miracle here. She hasn't. Round one at least goes to form. And big guns and insects take it. Round number two. This, who knows? I, I, I can't call anything. This, I think this could be close. It depends how quickly they take, off, take the, the, bigger, the bigger units out. The Brachiosaurus has gone off to take out someone else, and now he's coming back in again. If the old Audi's money team can get rid of some units pretty rapidly here. The Goros have gone. Goros have gone. There's still two Gorhammers left. The Gorhammers and the Spino need to do some quick work here on the Brachiosaurus. They can get, they can get the Brachiosaurus down before he comes at them. Brachiosaurus is... No, he's not down. I thought he was, but he's not down yet. Wow, let me go. Arrow Gemelli team take round two. This game, what is going on tonight, man? Look, they've bossed this one. Loads of units left. Round number three. Surely we cannot have the fourth continue or fourth consecutive update. Uh, upset. Don't get me wrong. Big Guns and Insect have only won three battles in this entire league so far as well. They're, they're hardly bossing it. Goro's gone down to the suicide too, I believe. That as a hussar. And we could be seeing it again. Oh my god, they've walked their way through him. What is happening? How'd they kill that many units that quickly? Did the suicide too do some serious damage there? What's going on? It's going to be another one, guys. I mean, what is happening tonight? So now the Audi Gemelli team have caused the latest upset. That's four in a row. And this one finishes Big Guns and Insect 1, the Audi Gemelli team 2. Audi Gemelli team with their second win in this entire competition. This whole recording and video is literally a shocker. Every match has been a shocker. On to matchup 5. Onwards, we move to matchup number 5, which is Toasters versus Gaming Garrison. Gaming Garrison, how are you nervous then, based on how tonight's gone so far? Toasters. Uh, are in 10th place at the moment with 10 wins out of 15 on 30 points. Gaming Garrison uh, in 6th place at the moment with 11 wins out of 15 on 33 points. Gaming uh, Toasters on the left hand side, Gaming Garrison on the right hand side here. For this to go as per every battle so far, Toasters have got a win. Toasters have not been on good form. They're currently not in the top 10. Sorry, I tell you like that, they are in the top 10 just. They are clinging on just about to their top 10 status. Although with Team Rebirth getting that surprise one earlier on. They've suddenly got themselves right back in. I didn't think they were going to win tonight. No one did. Suddenly they're right back in, in the 30-point group, and they're well and truly in it. Today was the was the was the week, or this week was the week to get get away from Team Rebirth. But Team Rebirth have pulled themselves back in it. And who's winning here? The ring team. Uh, ring team is Gaming Garrison. Can't tell who's alive. We've got two commander boasts to the left of Toasters. There's not a lot left now. I don't think by the look of it. Still got, we've still got the Spinosaurus here. And we've also got a commando bow. Once a spiner goes down, the spiner was not gone down. We're not having another upset, are we? Not again. Not another one, seriously. We have, you know. Oh my god, he's been flung all the way. Toasters take round one. The ridiculous shocks continue, guys. Round number two. Surely we can't. I mean, this isn't. Then These guys are not that different in points, to be fair. There's literally six points between them. But still, to have a fifth consecutive shot, we have the occasional one. Where's this dude going down here? I don't know. We have the occasional one. Don't get me wrong. Every now and again, we have the, the odd little shock result. To have five in a row, I don't have a clue what is going on tonight at all. At all. I'm I'm stunned. I assure you now that week two is going to be, sorry, part two is going to be recorded in the same session of this game. Because I'm intrigued to see what's going to happen with it. So all the other battles will be recorded without me closing the game down. I do it like that anyway every single week, um, pretty much. But this week definitely with what's going on in this one. This is a strange week. And we've got everyone moving in again on Gaming Garrison. We've got a Goro still alive. We've got a Kano still alive. The Spino is still alive. He's getting peppered by two Commander Bozo. That's a lot of a lot of uh, firepower to take in. Oh my god. And we have yet another Shocker. Yet another one. As Toasters, the underdogs again in this one, come good. And this one finishes Toasters 2, Gaming Garrison 0. That's five surprise results in a row. Meta Slayers take on Tywish's Pets next. Can we finally see Meta Slayers lose? Matchup number six, and the one I'm pretty sure you guys are all very keen to see and hope we get the certain result we all want in is the Meta Slayers versus Tyosha's Pets. Meta Slayers still unbeaten, 15 wins out of 15 on 45 points. Tyosha's Pets on 10 wins out of 15 on 30 points. Surely this is a step too far for the upsets, right? We've had five in a row. I don't think we should get our hopes up here, guys. I don't. I think this is one step too far. Tyosha's Pets are currently outside of the top 10. 
This is surely a step too far. Not helping when the Rocky's taking his own Goro out. Or nearly taking his own Goro out. Where's he firing now? He's got the powerful Soros. The Rocky's been a bit sharper. I still don't see this happening, but hey. Do you know what? They've got quite a few units so far. Um, The Rocky's still alive here for Meta Slayers. I think, they, I think they'll come good. Oh, what's he done? The Rocky's taking his own Commander bow out. Not great. It's Rocky versus Rocky action pretty much now. Um, there's an ch outside chance here. If they can kill his target the wrong... If he targets the right person here, he hasn't. There's still a Pujactile. Uh, Pujactile's gone. Oh, man, this is closer than it should have been. That was a lot closer than it should have been. Rocky killed his own people. Well, Metaslayers get round one, but that was not that one-sided. Keep praying, guys. We all pray for it to happen. That was closer than I think... I think I expected it to be there. The Rocky took his own units out as well, which did not help matters. The Rocky can get the right people just for once in his life. He's he's already put one in on his Goro. Not clever. The Rocky's decision making in the next minute will do a lot to determine where these uh, where these uh, where this round goes. That was better. They're, oh, the Gore Gore hammer's gone. There's still a lot of long range units left. We need we need we need the commando bows to be very accurate here before they get taken down. The commando bows are doing better this time. This is looking more promising. There's still a, uh, it's a, still a Rocky left, though. It's Rocky and Command and Cross Bionico. Oh my god, guys! Oh my god! The Rocky surely can't get this many people down. Oh my god! And Meta Slayers have lost a round as well. I honestly don't know what's happening. But it goes to a decide and round. Can we have six shocks in a row? It's the final round of game week six. Will we get six shock results in a row? This would be the ultimate shock of the entire entire competition so far have happened here. Again, we're totally reliant on what the Rocky does in the next few minutes. He's targeted a dead unit. Not a great start, dude. Not a great starting point. My heart's going, man. My heart's proper going. Now, he's taking out his own Rocket Ellie. Not a great start. Rocky, focus your mind, dude. Focus your mind and get the right PR. Oh, they're getting racked up here. Doesn't look good now. Doesn't look good. The Rocky's dead? Or is he not dead? The Rocky's dead, and I think we know this one's going to go now. The Cross Garnica's got way too much to do. We need the Rocky to be off target here. He's not going to be. Man, we got so close to six perfectly surprised results. Meta Slayers, you did not have a lot of units left in that one. And they win this one 2-1. It finishes Meta Slayers 2, Tyosha's Pets 1. But I reckon even you, Tim, even you were getting had your heart in your mouth there. Whew, what a week! Probably the most surprising set of results we're ever going to see in the ARB Subscribe League. Five surprise results there. Protect the President finally getting second spot, having beaten Silent Assassins last week. Then go and lose to 11th place Team Rebirth, who are now up to 9th themselves. Don't forget, guys, the top 10 automatically qualify for Season 2 of the ARB's League. So it's getting very close in the battle in amongst the top 10 there. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit like, smash subscribe, hit the notification bell if you are not already a subscriber. And until next time, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. Cheers. Oh, bye. Thank you.